life's too short to drive a Kia. So we both just went and bought our low budget dream cars to build as projects for this summer. Dream On this cars. beautiful summer day, it's April. Thanks, Minnesota. Everybody knows that there are dream cars that we all want, but have you ever thought about budget dream cars? We, we've gone and bought the things that we can realistically afford, but that's the best thing that we can afford. We've gone and bought our very favorite cars that you can get for just a few grand. We're parked on opposite ends of the neighborhood, so. Neither of us have seen each other's cars yet. What do you think I got? I think, uh, I think you got a Volvo. I was talking about Volvo wagons. That, <laughs> that's that's reasonable. No, not at all. What do you think I got? It's some manner of VW. I know it is. It can't be. It's, it's gonna be a that's VW. That's too obvious. Yeah. You wanna choose again? No, no I got <laughs> nothing. If, it, if it's not a VW, I don't know. I got nothing. You'll see. We'll see. Let's see what we got. What's it gonna be? It could be anything. It could even be a boat! Oh! Wow! Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's the thing. Man. I know you can't resist a good V-dub. So what the hell is even this? This is a Volkswagen Cabrio, 1995, and it comes with a total of a whopping 88 horsepower. It is not fast. It's loud. The high school kids that it was bought from said that they cut off the exhaust halfway around the car. Well, at least we know it's been taken care of. You got a, you got a good maintenance history on it, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, big car facts. Hey, 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 hey now. Let's, let's, hey now, hey now. Let's, let's not more break it. Yep. Contrary yep. to popular belief, you can more broken it. The custom body work is nice. Yeah, I like it, Picasso. Hey, it's, it's a top though. Does it leak? Yeah. No, it's got a rip in it though. That makes no fucking sense. As excited as I can't contain myself to go for a ride in this. You sure about that? I want you to see what I've got. <laughs> This should be good. One minute, 37 seconds later. It's hard to tell what that is. Can't even hear it. That's a Supra. He's got himself a Supra. Goddamn right it's a Supra. This bitch right here is an 85 Toyota Supra P-Type. We got the fender flares. We got the poppy up and downies. We've got sparkly boat paint for some reason. And we actually have a pretty minty interior. What do you think? Dream budget car? It really is. It like, really is. It really is. It... Whoop. Almost slipped and fell. Yeah, this shit, the epoxy is slippery. Really I've I've wanted another one of these. I had one of these when I was like 17, and letting go of that car is one of my biggest automotive regrets. And I've been looking for another decent one at the right price for years. And this is this is it. You were about to spend relatively close to what you paid for this for a shell, basically. Yeah, the, there were a couple of shells that I was really considering and god what a horrible investment that would have been you would have missed out on this investment the so this paint. is the boat paint really seals the deal uh so look forward to a how to paint your car video coming before too long let's go for a ride yeah. it runs drives shifts great we uh we went and picked this up down in Iowa. It was a good three hours or so each way and it made the three hour drive home no problem at all. Uh, everything works. Everything electrical is good. Uh, oil pressure is good. No signs of overheating the whole way home. Like it seems to be in really good health. 
and I think it's a great start to to what I really want to build one to be. Well, got I gotta wait for a for a pretty good opportunity to pull out. Nobody ever claimed the second gen super to be fast. <laughs> This is the missile guidance system, bitch. Look at that smile, it's a Supra. <laughs> Man, it, uh, it is very solid mechanically, but we do have a few things that need addressed. Uh, you know, it's a going on 40 year old Toyota, so oil leaks, as is tradition. Uh, we got some oil leaks to address. Uh, we also have a couple of rusty patches around the rear quarters that do seem to be letting air into the cabin. So we gotta we gotta take a look at that. And there is a little bit of a vibration in the front end up at highway speed. So we're gonna we're gonna pull the wheels off, take a good look at all the suspension, the whole front end. We'll go through it and uh, see what we see. But overall, like I couldn't be happier. This is it. This is the thing. Get such that we can get the cabrio out. All right, let's go for a ride in this thing. Two bros chilling in the cabrio. Don't hit the Miata. Look at all this headroom. You know, whoever did this exhaust work, kudos, you, you nailed it. So overall, I like the car. It's okay-ish maintenance-wise. It needs some work, as most things would after almost 30 years old. But all in all, good, decent car. Doesn't have a lot of power, but it'll be okay. First thing we gotta get all changed on this car is the exhaust though. Because right now yeah. it sounds fantastic. Hey, don't do that. We always say we're gonna do something real quick and then it takes like four or five hours to do it. We're gonna go ahead and address this exhaust so we don't piss off the entire neighborhood. Just those closest to us. This one is for the Miata. That's just don't worry about that. That's for another time. This whole box of exhaust parts over here that's been in my way for like a week apparently is an exhaust for this car. So we hope, hopefully, uh, said it's it's an Amazon kit that was theoretically for this car. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna see if it if that's actually true and see if it actually meets up to wherever it's cut off up under there. Let's see what we got. That's an exhaust. It is an exhaust. That is a series of pipes and mufflers. How much was this kit? 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Well. Let's see if we can figure how it's supposed to together and if it does go together properly and actually shut this thing up. I thought you liked the loud. Good louds are good. There's a difference. Yay! You try this. This could slip over that. This could slip over that. Well, you have just some clamps to clamp these things to each other. Perfect. It's not gonna leak. You sure about that? I think uh, I think we might want to just cancel the the exhaust and just go to a shop and have uh, that guy. If we rig it up and get the clamps holding it together, we can take it down and let him weld it up. Let him actually. Well, we have a welder. No, because I know what's going to happen. What's going to happen is we're going to put it all together very shittily and then we're gonna make content out of it and then laugh at how it sounds all the way to the exhaust shop. All the way to the exhaust shop to actually get it fixed? Yes. Let's look under there, let's see what we got. I see where it's cut. 
So we got it up on ramps. We're gonna see if this cheap exhaust just happens to slip right on and be fine. Clean up the cut up stuff, the cut off nub of the old bike. We'll clean that up and see if the new one just slips over it. This is how you put exhausts on with grinders? This is how you put exhausts I would wear these if I was under there. Safety second. Rule number one is to have fun. Oh, you don't even put safety second. What second? Rule two is get money. You're right. You're right. It's life lessons. Let's take a look. Yeah, I made sure to leave some of the staples exposed. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll see which way this thing goes. This one back here is slipping into place pretty easy. Many, many minutes later. Was that an easy install? No. $200 exhausts do not fit as well as $1,000 exhausts. They well, let's not. see what it sounds like. How many leaks we got? You want to start it in here? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it leaks, but it's a hell of a lot less annoying than it was. We did it. Let me back this thing out of here. Yeah, let's get this thing out of here. Much better. It's a hell of a lot less annoying than it was. So now that that's done, let's get the Supra in here. Pop the hood. Where is it? Oh, seller said he did a bunch of maintenances and we got new spark plug wires. The cap is new. He said distributor, but the distributor is very obviously not new. So maybe he just meant the cap. And we do have some oil leakage good bit of oil leakage so there's that it looks like it was wired for an amp at some point we got some amp wiring that's pretty corroded there and not connected so at least they disconnected it instead of leaving live wires running through the car but overall not bad she runs just fine it's good so that's it. This is my low budget dream car. It's, this is it. That's, that's the thing. I'm really excited for this. That motherfucker looked good. Got a little bit of restoration stuffs to do. Got a few maintenance things, but it'll be getting some personal touches before too long. There's no telling what's gonna happen to that poor Cabrio. I mean, Alex just be doing shit, so. Uh, I think he's planning on dailying it for now, but at some point, you know, as these things go, it, something's going to happen to it that makes it not be the daily anymore, and he'll need a new daily. Uh, luckily, I already have the Miata as my daily, and this is pure toy, and I can go ahead and do whatever I want with it right off the bat. So, real excited to see what happens with it. Uh, if you care to follow along, feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, see what we get into. So this might be uh, this might become the new rally car, so that the Miata can focus on autocross stuffs, and this can take over rally duties. We'll see. Check in next time and see what we're doing. Thanks for watching, and you know, have a nice day, I guess. Oh, hey, didn't see you there.
What's up, man? Nothing. What you doing here? Look. Look, we all have different ways of repairing rust holes. All right. Yeah. When you got a hole that's letting air and or the elements into your car, you know? The wildlife. Sometimes, sometimes you, uh, you, you fix your problems in your own unique way, you know?